All right, for the functional movement warm-up, most of them on the sheet is 15 yards. 15 yards is approximately the distance of half court. If it says 30 yards, you're going full court and back. If you need to mark it off the cones, just take 15 big steps. Same thing for 30, just taking 30 big steps to mark it off. First thing we're going to start off with is walking knee hugs. We'll go 15 yards. Bring that leg up. Make sure to bring it up. That opposite leg is extended. Keep the toe to the knee. Pulling it up, and we'll keep the chest tall as well. We're not bringing the chest down, keep the chest up, bringing that knee up. Same thing now as we go to figure four. Pick it up on the outside of the leg at a 45 degree angle, pick it up at the ankle and the knee. Make sure we're staying extended on the opposite leg, keep the chest tall. Just step, grab and go. T-spine marching. T-spine means we're just going to take our fingers, interlock them behind our head, pull the elbows back. So as the elbows are pulled back, elbows, knees, hips, ankles are all in a nice straight line. And we're going to keep that position as we march. We're going to pick that other leg up, picking our leg up as high as we can, keeping that toe right underneath the knee, and extending on that bottom leg again. We're striking either through the front part of the foot or the whole foot. We don't want to let the heel hit first. Picking it up. Send it back down. We have a couple different skipping exercises. These ones will go 30 yards. We'll just go to half court for right now for demonstration purposes. First one is going to be forward skipping with four arm circles. Just skipping. Nice big arm circles. As you bring it back, you go still forward skipping, but now arm circles going backwards. We have lateral skipping, just face one direction. Don't let the feet cross over, arms cross up top, hands cross underneath. Do that one way, face the same way to make it the opposite side. Going back and forth. Next thing I'll do will be lunge sky corners. I want to make sure you take a nice big step. Have the hands right aligned with the foot. Your forearm will be lined up with the shin. Get the palms flat on the floor. Open one way. Open the other way. Step through into the next step. Same thing, make sure the hands lined up with the shin. Open up. Open up. Opening up to the outside will be the harder of the two. Make sure you try and push open as much as you can. Butt kicks, real simple. Make sure we're just picking the feet up nice and quick. Moving at a good pace, picking the feet up. Don't try and get too much forward as far as with each step. Just get a lot of steps in with each rep. And then we have walking toe touches. Just step with each foot, go to the opposite hand, kicking the leg up. Still trying to make sure we're standing straight on this leg. Keep the other leg straight and pick it up. Keep the other body up. Bring the leg up to the chest. Don't bring your chest down to the knee. And then same thing, walking toe touch with a skip now. Just gonna add a skip to it. And then bring it back. We're still trying to stay straight with both legs. You pick this hand up. And then our last one will be inline bear crawl. It usually helps if you have a line. So that way you can keep your right side on this side of the line, left side and this side, as we step, everything will be moving straight ahead. Knee will be coming straight ahead to the elbow. Make sure the knee doesn't kick out, make sure the hips don't pike up. Back staying nice and flat all the way through. So we have four bear crawl, and then backward inline bear crawl. Same thing, just going in the reverse fashion. 